How many fulfillment centers Amazon FBA have in the US? How does Amazon decide from which warehouse to ship the items to the end customers? And now you can ship your products to a specific Amazon FBA location. Okay, so as of January 2022, Amazon have or has 1,137 distribution centers across the US. They have more than that globally. And if you like this video and you want me to make one about the European or other marketplaces with the locations, let me know down below in the comment section. But let's start with, uh, with the list of them, okay, by state. So first of all, we have Arizona. They have total of this uh number of uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen distribution centers um and locations now as far and this list by the way i got it from tenuti it's i hope i pronounce it well it's a blog um and if i'm not wrong uh they have a kind of a uh program to help amazon sellers anyway this is the list uh by state by arizona now if I'm not wrong, again, they have around 300 and something uh, uh, locations that are the, the, at scale locations. Those that have ton of items, those that receive and accept containers. Uh, and from those locations, they distribute to our smaller locations as well. Um, if you have Arkansas here with three locations, California with a lot of ones, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware with four, Florida uh, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I know some of them, like the one in Orlando and on Jacksonville, are for uh, large, heavy items. Georgia, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, also is a big one. New York with only three, I guess the pricing and all the land cost in New York um, is just too much. That, so they put it in New Jersey, which is obviously a huge job, international big airport and a huge job ports. Um, so it's really good location for uh, Amazon, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania with a lot of locations, um, South California, Tennessee, Texas also with huge amount of uh, locations utah virginia washington wisconsin and these are the list of uh, the locations outside the us i'm not going to over go over them um, and if you want me to make a video or explanation sharing you with them uh sharing with you those locations let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoy the content that i'm working very hard to provide and produce for you for free please take a moment to like this video subscribe to the channel and comment with any feedback or questions do you have because I personally reply to every comment and I will also appreciate your support by checking the links and the sponsors in the description below. That's the only way that we keep this channel alive. Now, how Amazon decides where to ship the products to the end customers, how this works. So usually it's by proximity and the number of units, the inventory that it has uh, uh, depends on where the customer ordered the item from. So for example, I'm located in Florida and let's say I bought a product from a third party seller on Amazon and they have hundred units across available across all us distributions and FC centers, which is uh, fulfillment centers. Um, and, and you know, how Amazon decides where to ship the items. So for example, let's say in the Florida warehouses and locations, FCs that Amazon have, there is zero units. Now what they will do, they will go to the nearest closest location to your zip code and ship it from there. So for example, if you have two units located in Georgia and another 10 units located in California, they will probably ship it from the Georgia location because it saves them time and money, reducing their costs, right? That's why once you ship an Amazon seller, ship items, let's say from China to a location of Amazon in the US most likely will be California because to ship uh, uh, sea shipping from China to US usually it goes to the West Coast port which is LA port uh, Long Beach um, and what they do after that usually it's being transferred or delivered to a ONT8 or LGB8 locations in California 
where they process your goods and then they ship it across to other locations in the US so they have a better distribution and speed to the customer. So that's how they decide how and from which location to ship your uh, product to customers. Now a question that comes a lot of time, how do I ship to a specific location, to a specific FC center when creating a shipping plan? When you import stuff, whether that's from China, from India, from or even domestically, you ship things uh, from your own place or from your manufacturer or factory in the US to Amazon FC, you want sometimes to ship it, you, you are planning to create a shipping plan or you actually create a shipping plan and then you see that they're asking you to ship it to let's say California, but you're shipping from Florida, which is cost, uh, cost a lot. So your goal is to ship it to a location in Florida, which will reduce the cost dramatically. So how you do it? So there are a couple of tricks to do it. I did few videos on, on this uh, you know, matter that you can watch, um, but I suggest that the easier way to fix it is to choose a location close to the location that you want to ship your items to. So for example, if I'm in Arkansas, so I'm going to put the ship from address in a zip code located in 72114. And um, then after I create the shipping line, I can change it to the original one. There's some other techniques, other techniques that you can use, which are kind of against Amazon TOS and a little risky that I will not really mention in the video. But if you want me to still share them, let me know in the comment sections. And of course, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know again in the comment section, what do you think? And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching.